in today's video, I want to test the range of my uh, receiver and transmitter. So I came here to one of the harbors in Tokyo, and I'll just put this down here somewhere, um, and then just slowly walk away. There's a quite long stretch here. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, um, the range is quite good. Right now, as you can see here, it is only using the inbuilt Wi-Fi. So I just want to check how far this goes. Um, and then later on, I'll put in a external antenna and see if we can increase the, the range. So what I've done now is I've set this up here. It's uh, connected to the power, and right now you only see a red light. Once this receiver loses its signal from the transmitter here, um, a blue light is going to come on, which will look like this. So once this blue light turns on, we know that it's out of range. But I will also be able to see it on here. So I programmed the OLED in such a way that I can also see when um, the signal doesn't reach the receiver anymore. So yeah, let's see how far the range is with the standard inbuilt uh, Wi-Fi. <coughs> so I will be switching to my GoPro to film the, the distance. So the problem I'm facing now is that uh, people are walking into the direct signal line um, and that's causing error. And also, uh, depending on the orientation obviously, um, it sends and not sends. So yeah, it's a tricky one. But right now, if it's pointing directly, then it's, it still gets a signal. I'm going to stop here because uh, it's basically 50-50. So I think this is actually quite good range. We can remember up until this board that we get a good signal. So yeah, let's go back. So I think this was a good test. We've established that the range is quite far, 40 meters or so. And however, if people walk in between the Wi-Fi signal, then obviously this is going to give out a, a error otherwise I think this is completely sufficient to use this for the yeah for the water and in the next step um, I will try to put in some external antennas and then see how far how far we can get with that but successful test After the lovely montage you just saw of how I connected up this antenna, we are back at the original spot to test if we have any range enhancement. This is like an intermediate step, so we only put the antenna onto the receiver and the controller is still the original ESP32. So yeah, let's see how far we can get this time. So I got my Osmo Action ready, let's see how far the range is. So there's probably some flickering on the screen, um, but the signal is still strong. So this is how far we came the other day, up into this board. But today it's all fine. So yeah, yesterday we got into that board. So the signal just got a little bit bad, it's getting over here because of this wind. So the signal, we were able to extend the range like by 10 meters. I think the first good news is that the antenna is working so we did not lose any location power. We were also able to increase the range of about 10 meters and before it sort of got errors or it was then sort of sporadic on and off. Um, and I think the issue is that basically the signals are coming from this here um, so we've only improved the, the receiving end. So in the next step we need to improve the transmitting end um, and then I'm sort of expecting to get 
a lot more range. But anyway, so I think this, this intermediate step was a very good result. And yeah, we can do the next step now. <coughs> so we are back again at the original location. And this time to see how far the range is in the final evolution. So on our um, receiver, we have the antenna. And on our transmitter, we also have the antenna. And also I came this time to a place all the way down here at the harbor. So last time we were probably over here. Um, and this time, as I'm expecting the range to increase quite a lot, um, I came all the way to the back end. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can make it all the way to the other side of the harbor. So yeah, let's see how that goes. And if we look at the size of this, I am very confident that we have a, a range enhancement. So we are back online and I'm very optimistic that we will get a good range this time. So I look quite suspicious actually with this thing here. So I left my stuff unattended but since this is Japan I'm expecting it to be alright. So it's already giving its first error and it's again an error if somebody walks in between the signal line. So unfortunately it seems like our range hasn't increased by that much. So I get now like sporadic error messages. So it's like 50-50. So you can probably see the blue light coming on. It's still in range, but the, the success rate of the transmission is not 100%. Obviously on a boat you want to have a success rate of the transmission of 100%. I'm... Yeah, a bit disappointed. It could be that my soldering was not so good or that my cheap Amazon purchase for this antenna was not so good. But at least um, it seemed like to have increased a little bit, so that's good. I think that concludes the testing with the range enhancement. Um, so unfortunately the results are less than my um, expectations, but it was still a good exercise. So yeah, let's see if I can do some uh, troubleshoot troubleshooting, but I'm expecting that this will be the, the final result.